What's up, collective? Divine feminine, divine masculine, karmic. Welcome to the karmic circus. Where we expose all of these devilish ass karmic clowns. This reading may trigger you. So I need you to only take the parts that resonate with your energy and leave the rest. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. You hear me, collective? Now, this reading, I believe, is going to be a funny. I really believe it's going to be a funny reading because... Uh, some of you divine feminines, collective, if you're not divine, you, you're included in this too. As long as you're not on the karmics team, you're cool, okay? You don't have to be a divine if you're not ready to be, okay? Anyway, some of y'all, somebody out there, some of y'all, that's still dealing with your karmic energy. Got you divine feminines walking around with that. I have to, <laughs> with that uh, good dick walk. You know what that good dick walk is. Now, some of you, you get it. You get that good dick walk with your masculine, your divine masculine. But what we're going to talk about is you getting that good dick walk, what this karmic is giving you. The good dick that the karmic is giving you. This person, they dick is so good, you just, you just let them get away with shit. And oh, after they finish fucking you... The, the, the next morning or whatever and you gotta get up and you gotta go walk somewhere shit <laughs> can't nobody tell you shit to bring your heart down even though this person uh, just fucked somebody else uh, the day before and they came back to you, told you some sort of lie and shit, and fucked the shit out of you, had your legs all over their shoulders, getting in deep and all of that, eating your pussy real good, and boy, that next day, you done forgot about that they was with somebody else. And you walking around like you the shit. <laughs> so that made me think when you see these women walking around here, do they, do they have the, the good dick walk? Do the karmic just fuck them so good they, they fuck them stupid? <laughs> That's what that good dick will do. They will fuck you stupid. Put it in the comments, fuck you stupid. They will. That's how they're a clown. So I'm just about to have some fun. I just made these cards last night. And uh, I just want to see the energy of the karmic that has fucked some, some feminine energies out there. And they don't lie. Don't try to lie. A ain't no sense in lying. Everybody then uh, mostly, I say 99% of women has gotten somebody that fucked them stupid. Okay. Okay. Somebody gave it to you so good to where you was losing your mind. And after they finished doing it to you, oh shit, when you go to the grocery store, you... <laughs> they done fucked you so good to you and their fried making breakfast and cooking steaks for this motherfucker and shrimps and shit. You walk into the grocery store with your purse. <laughs> I'd have never done that. I'd have done it. 
and you just like you just you just sitting on top of the world because you was just sitting on the best dick last night. You don't give a fuck that he was fucking somebody else the other day. That's that shit that has happened to me when I was in my twenties with my baby daddy. I got a child with this fool, and he had the best dick ever. I mean, me and him was fucking in bunk beds, the metal bunk beds where it can hold all the weight and shit. I was up in that motherfucker, um, like uh, like the holding on to the rails, feet and both, letting him getting all up in there any way he could. Okay, I'm a Scorpio, y'all. I'm just letting you know. But somebody got somebody out there that's fucking you stupid, and uh, maybe this this could be didn't happen in the past. For some of y'all, it's happening right now. And for others of you, it will happen. You will get a motherfucker. But you just mind that spirit right now that you don't want nobody to fuck you stupid. And this is a karmic clown. Now, if you're divine masculine, fuck you like that. It's all great. But we just about to find out some of the energy of these clowns that fucked you stupid. They got you with that. <laughs> we might as well call it that, that stupid walk. <laughs> When you look at these females and they switch it real hard, they they just got some stupid dicks. Okay. It says it's over. It's ended. Your community thinks that you're interested. Okay. Somebody has got fucked real good in Nebraska. It's over and it's ended. We got this ain't for everybody. We got Louisiana. We got Nebraska, Louisiana, and them two states. We got real love. We got divorce and a karmic. We got Lion King, the Lion King. We got text messages, email, phone call, true love, information. We got, they want to share their wealth with you. They're in love. They love you. And we got Speedy. Okay. So, <clears throat> for one, somebody, uh, you got a speed fucker out there. The person who you thinking about who gave you that good dick walk name could have been Speedy. Okay, his name could have been Speedy. And uh, you could have gave him that name, or the 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 uh, I ain't go, I ain't, I can't say that this Speedy is a is a uh, a quick nut. Speedy ain't a quick nut, not in this read. No, Speedy is not nobody who do. He'll come to you fast. I I don't think uh, he comes fast. But when you call him, that nigga is speed or a speed to get to you. Mm hmm Cause Speedy wants to to give you that walk. <laughs> you know Speedy the one who give you that walk. Shit, when you walk like you swinging them hips, you like don't let no music come on. You kinda dancing a little. Even if you're not showing nobody else dancing. <laughs> you dancing in your head, right? <laughs> you hear the music, but you too shy to dance in public. But you like, you kind of, you you kind of a freeze dance, because you, 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 you done got you some good dick. <laughs> so he got you dancing. He got you cooking breakfast. He got you making dinner. That good dick, uh, uh, have you taken him work? Taking taking him some shit to work? Mm -hmm. 
That's what that good good dick can do to you. These karmics. See, they come and they give you all that good ass dick. And they ain't worth shit. They can have a job and everything and they still ain't shit. They're a karmic. Okay. Now, some of y'all, you're, you're the person, your karma who gave you this good dick. They really loved you and you really loved them. But this person was the lion king. He lied all the time. And you're divorcing this person. He could have been, you know, from Louisiana or you may be from Louisiana. He could be from Nebraska or you could be in from Nebraska. Something could have happened in Nebraska, something significant to Louisiana or Nebraska. Um, it's over, it's ended. You, you've uh, divorced this person, but when you was with this person, this person uh, gave you that good dick walk. Could have been a big country motherfucker that knew how to <laughs> that knew how to uh, you know how a, how a horse when a person is walking with their horse a, a horse walks confident it's big you know that's how, how this person had you walking confident strong oh yeah he was tearing that ass up huh you know what I'm talking about divine feminine <laughs> Fellas, I don't even want to get on, <laughs> on you. I'm going to have to do well for the Divine Masculine. <laughs> when they get some good pussy, <laughs> them niggas is walking around and, and, do it, and white boys and all of y'all that got that, sh that, that, if you got some good dick and your girl got some good pussy, and, and after you finish fucking shit, just like I say, the, the females got that. The men, they walk around like they dick is hanging to the ground. <laughs> like it's like, like it's, it's to their knees or something. Man, I tore that pussy up. That's how they walking around or they saying, damn, that was some good shit. They walking around with their head all up. Sup? <laughs> That's how they feeling. That's how they fit me. Mm hmm Okay. And collective, if you smoke, uh, you can go on and light your blunt up. Because that's what I'm doing. I'm just not showing it on camera. But yes, I smoke. Mm-hmm. Don't you think that... Uh, since we going back down memory lane, you, you, no, we don't want you to go back to him now. Okay, so the person, the person who gave you that good dick walk, you could have divorced them because they didn't, they didn't bring you no know, financial abundance. You didn't see right with this person when it came to the money. They, they, they. It's like. You, you and this person couldn't get along, but they gave you some good dick. And this person is also having some secret fantasies of getting you back. They want to give you that good dick walk again. Uh-huh. They're no longer, they were, if, 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 when, if when you was with them, they were dealing with some sort of family issues... If they had like a uh, baby mama drama or something, maybe the, the, the child is 18 now. Um they ain't they ain't they ain't dealing with that. That's 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 over. That's ended. It's over. And now now they're they're having secret fantasies of, of getting you back. Coming to make you come again and give you that sexy ass walk. They know sometimes these men they they notice the difference, and then women when you didn't when they didn't gave it to you you gonna walk around them, real uh. Tied this scarf too tight. You gonna walk around them like you 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 a sitting duck you waiting for them. You waiting for them to come come attack you. 
Uh-huh. Now, this person, whoever, this person, they having secret fantasies of getting you back. And they want to share their wealth with you because they love you. Somebody's name may be Speedy. This person may have lied when you was with them the first time while they was making you come, but you divorced them. That was because they had some, some family issues. They could have been dealing with baby mama drama and all of this. And this person wanted to be with you. They wanted to marry you. Like, they want to be a power couple with you. <clears throat> but they had a karmic in their life. Their baby mama was their karmic. And it took up to 18 years to now where this person can tell this baby mama, fuck you, my child is grown now. You don't need me no more. Whatever else is, you know, something on that type of energy. And now they want to share their wealth with you. Mm -hmm. That's for somebody out there. It ain't for everybody, but that's for somebody. Okay. And that's the person who gave you that walk. That good dick walk. So somebody who gave you the good dick walk, Divine Feminine, is they want to get that walk to you again. And they want to spoil you with affection. Oh, shit. See this baby mama that they was who was interfering with your shit. Now the child 18, they having secret fantasies of getting you back, of spoiling you with, with uh affection. Ooh, after they divorced this karmic. Ooh. They lied to you about this karmic energy, this baby mama. Because they knew you wouldn't wait around for them, which you didn't. But now that that situation is over, what's gonna happen? What's going to happen now that the situation is over with that karmic baby mama? They respect your honor as a divine feminine. Betrayal and deception. So even, even though when they was with you the first time, they betrayed you, they was deceptive with you. All of that shit is over because they was dealing with the baby mama who was controlling them. She was telling them that she wouldn't allow them to see his kids and all of that type of shit. So he had to do some real, you know, shady shit. He wasn't intentionally doing it. And here goes the karmic suck. Starting the dick. Now, this is, I heard this on a comedian last night, so I had to put this in, in, in these cards. She's talking about female karmics. Not all karmics. I mean, the feminines, we, we, we have to and you have to sometimes. This for you, those of you that's into oral sex, there's nothing wrong with it. If you with your person, and that's what you like to do and that's what he like to do, whatever floats your boat. No one is here to talk about um, oral sex or put people down. Are you a hoe if you, you suck a dick? You're not a hoe if you suck a dick. Is a man a hoe if he eating your pussy? Is you letting him eat your pussy? You going to let him eat it? Are you calling him a hoe? No, you saying no. Uh, you calling him Joe. You letting him do whatever you want him to do. So we ain't going to go about the, the, the uh, dick sucking and the pussy eating shit. Like it's a federal offense because I didn't suck the dick. I got my kid's father. And yes, and yes, he has eaten my shit. Yes. So it ain't no uh, thing. But it's these karmics that's out here that suck starting the dick. So to me, this is a female energy that's out here. Your person, his 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 uh, child's mama was suck starting his dick. Because he didn't, he, him and her, he didn't want to be with her no more. He was repulsed at the at the at the fact of of him um, of him having to have sex with her after all of the mean, hurtful, low down, dirty, fucked up shit she done did. Then she want him to fuck her because he got that good dick. So he wanted her. She still wanted him to fuck her, and his dick didn't want to start up for her. So she had to jump into the startup mode. You know how when you're getting a jump on your car, you jump, you, if your battery go down, 
you got to jump start that battery. See, this is, she would suck start that motherfucker. <laughs> she would suck start the dick, okay? She would suck to start the dick. This, this is so tight on my head. I shouldn't have put it that tight. So, yeah, this, so this person, that's what was going on between them and their baby mama. She was suck starting the dick and she suck started it for fucking 18 years. I won't say 18, but up until that child, you know, turned 18 to where he was able to stand up and tell her, look, you're not going to control me no more. I'm not, I'm not, the child is 18. I'm going on with my life. Me and you is never going to get back together. So why are you sitting here holding me hostage? Making me stay in some shit that I, I want to move on. I want to be happy. It wasn't happy with you. I wasn't happy with you. So why are you, you know, like doing all this bullshit? You did all this bullshit for 18 years. And this is the kind of, 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 of. They, they, baby mom is the kind of woman that she would, I believe she would actually try to get some shit up until the fucking child is 21 just to be spiked. She knows that he don't want her and he probably didn't want her from the beginning. It, it probably, he, uh, somehow she manipulated him and they had sex or they was drinking or met at a club and she got pregnant some sort of way. And you know how she got pregnant. But she ended up getting pregnant by him, and he didn't want her. And I'm I'm a witness to that because that happened with my son. I got a, a grandbaby, 11 years old, and um, her mom is a fucking karmic. She's one of the worst karmic, and she's Hispanic, and she's into all of the the, the spell work and all of that shit. She put magic on my son. She, she moved my grandbaby, took her to Mexico and uh, took her away from my son and then turned around and told my son, I mean, told her, her daughter that my son is, is, is not coming to see her, don't want to see her. But in reality, she's just a karmic ass bitch that wants my son for herself. My son don't want her. He met her online. She was a trick. Somebody he met online and fucked, and she got pregnant by him. And the, and the child is his. It's my grandbaby. Mm -hmm. So she she does a little, a lot of little manipulative things to get back at him, taking the child out of the country and um, lying on him, saying people that he's not doing nothing and he don't want to come see the child. But in reality, she's jealous of my other grandbaby's mama of the girl who he's really with okay he's jealous she's jealous of her so she's a karmic and i told him i said she's a karmic i said she came to to destroy your life and she's gonna continue fucking with you up until that child is 18 so right now he going to the child support people and saying all the stuff she doing she try to fuck with his life um get his gun license taken um his his security and all of all of his shit because my family we do security and um we're security officers i'm not no more i haven't retired but i got injured on my job but his his you know this baby mama she be tripping so that's some of y'all could be going through the same thing with that okay so this is what a karma could do they'll sex start the dick. Okay. They speak very highly of you, Divine Feminine. So your person, this person who gave you that good dick walk, they speak highly of you. They really loved you. Three baby daddies. Resistance to a karmic partner. Okay, so this this karmic could have three baby daddies. And your person 
the person who gave you that good dick walk. Now, this could have happened in the past, or this could be happening right now. The thing with this person could have happened in the past, and they're catching feelings for you right now. You know what I mean? And they're having resistance to their baby mama, or their ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, whoever that was, the, the baby mama. The one that, you know, uh, the reason why he couldn't be true to you in the first place. Mm -hmm. It's a little too tight. So yeah, so maybe this 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 um your person or your ex who the person who gave you that good dick that good dick walk they respect your honor but their 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 karmic could have three baby daddies they could have a child with this person and and she did the same thing to her other baby daddies, okay. But they, she, he speaks highly of you to her, okay. Probably say divine feminine, you know, she on her game. She do what she's supposed to do. She work or she take care of her business. She take care of her kids. This person speaks highly of you. And they want to be back with you. And they want to spoil you with affection. And they having secret fantasies. So when when um, how this came out. This person wanted to break your spirit. They baby mama wanted to break your spirit. And now your person. I'm saying your person. Because I believe some of you is going back to this person. They're divorcing this karmic. Mm -hmm. They're divorcing this karmic, and this karmic is still trying to come to them. They don't want them. They want you. They want to spoil you. They want to bring that good dick back to you. It is what it is. And they having fantasies. They respect you. They going to be either emailing you, text messaging you, or calling you, telling you about how much they truly love you. Ooh, divine feminine. They gave you that good dick walk. So that mean they all that. It's a karmic feminine. They didn't know that they was ugly. Nobody told them that and starting over. So this person's uh this person who they baby mama, she ugly. She don't know that, but she's ugly. Okay. And um, now she have to respect you as a, a divine feminine because the child is over 18 now. And this person been resisting this baby mama. Because they want to start over with you. They having secret energies, secret fantasies about starting over with you. And they respect you. They speak highly of you. Mm-hmm. They want to spoil you with affection. They want to give you financial abundance. They want you back. And see, when they was with this baby mama, this they 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 had been been overdone with her for years, but she was holding that child over their head, so that made it look like they didn't want you. They couldn't. They didn't want to be with you. But in reality, they always have loved you. They all this baby mama was doing was trying to break your spirit. But see, this is this is your masculine energy. This is a divine masculine energy, divine feminine. Because even though 
this karmic did all of all that she could to keep you away from this man, you still you still gonna get him. Now, you still gonna get him because he's your masculine. You're supposed to be with him. He's this the way I feel like this is your soulmate, the person you're supposed to be with. This person could be a mailman. He could work for the post office. Uh huh. This person could. They could work for the post office. Um. When you and and when you was with this person, that's why you had that good that good good dick walk. Cause they was fucking you like it was no tomorrow, and they fucked you good and you loved it. Mm -hmm. Oh, this gonna make me have to. I'm gonna have to uh go to my secret uh fantasy deck over here. That's my nasty deck, and and find out what's the positions that this person want. Yes, I'm nosy. Mm hmm. And see what you what what the karmic didn't understand is that you and this person you have a a, a open ended relationship to me that means the relationship between you and this person is always open okay it never ended cause you fucking like it's tomorrow no tomorrow and this person is secretly fantasizing <coughs> <clears throat> about getting all of that back and this karmic energy didn't know that they is ugly you could work for the post office you could be a male woman um or this karmic can have a postal energy this baby mama could be postal mad because this person is now coming to you it's 18 the child 18 ain't shit she can fucking do she's a karmic she need to go sit her ass down somewhere and blow up some balloons or something with all of that fucking hot air so i'm gonna stop right there and if you need to drop your clown off at the karmic tent then go ahead on and drop your clown off at the karmic tent. Also, I forgot to tell you to purchase your your tickets by hitting that thumbs up button for me to help my channel grow. Also, hit that subscribe button. Jump on over there to the to the notifications place and hit that notification bell so you will be notified each and every time these clowns is coming to your town. So I can tell you. Now, if you don't hit the notification bell, everybody else going to know the business, but you're going to be last to find out. You're going to be like, damn. Like somebody came in my videos and was like, this is an old ass video. No, it ain't old. You just, you just now suddenly hit the subscribe button. You would have, you would have learned about this a long time ago, but no, you didn't hit that subscribe button talking about it's an old ass video. No, that's your old ass energy. Okay. So don't forget. Hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up button to purchase your ticket for when the next circus comes to your town. All right. Peace.